chairman of FOSAC, Mr. Kevin Kishor Kao and Mr. Jalil Khan. This organization has been floated to elevate the potential between different Southeast Asian community in the United States. They are working together, cooperating together, setting up an example of beautiful friendship so that the different communities can come together democratically and can do some positive thing for the mankind. So even if I would say the uh, bilateral relationship between India, Bangladesh and Pakistan is not so great in their own country, here in the United States we have broken that barrier and people from different communities came together to prove that we as a human being are proving out to be one nation. So uh, Mr. Kevin, uh, my question is how come it, it came to your thought that this kind of communities can be built? Basically, I've been in this country for the last 15 years, uh, Mr. Piplo. Oh, what had happened? Basically, I've been in this country for the last 15 years, Mr. Piplo. What had happened is, uh, you know, I've come up the grassroots of the community, and what I basically saw is, you know, the American politicians, they come to the Indian community and say, Pakistan is bad, and then they go to Pakistani community, they say, India is bad. And eventually, none of the two countries get anything. So what happened being from grassroots in this community, I eventually thought that this country, people or masses of this country is based on two things. If you look at all this country has shown me one simple thing. America runs, the people in the United States, immigrants that I'm talking about, runs on two things. One is the, the, the kind of looks that you have and the kind of food that you eat. And then I discovered it that the whole South Asia was one nation at one particular time, pre-independence day of uh, Britishers and and uh, we have the same culture, we have the same eating habits, and uh, why can't we be under one platform? So based on that, I decided to start FOSAC, which is uh, 5 million uh, total uh, South Asians in the United States, but totally 5 million. So that's 5 million votes. That's almost 2% of the voting block, in the, which makes a lot of sense. Because under, coming under the Asian umbrella, we were getting diluted as South Asian, and South Asian as a community is the largest and the richest community as far as intellectual levels are concerned and, and financials. Financially and intellectually we are the richest community in the United States. But it is not portrayed in the mainstream unfortunately because we get diluted under the Asian umbrella. When it gets diluted under the Asian umbrella what happens is, suppose I'll just give you an example that there are eight federal judges under our quota system, you know, Asian. So eight judges when it comes to the Chinese community says that we have come to America first that the rest of the Orientals are there. Outside the United States, Chinese and Japanese, they don't like each other, but here they call themselves as one. So when eight, when the President of the United States says eight is your quota of federal judges, so what happens is the whole Oriental community gives it to themselves. So there is no South Asian who is a federal judge. And if we don't take a stand today as a community and as a nation and come together five million people, we will be diluted in the next hundred years. It will take for one South Asian to ever become a federal judge in the United States. Being, in spite of being the richest community and being the most smartest and the most intellectually capable community. So those are the reasons that FOSAC's agenda item is that, you know, we politically support candidates. We politically support other people. We support, and Jalil has been great support, and he and I and other people, you know, started the whole thing that, you know what, a time has come now that we come together, we support on grounds of different candidates so that they take, and for example, the mayor of LA, which created history for the first time, 150 years, we have a Hispanic mayor. The Hispanic mayor, for the first time, we have a South Asian deputy mayor in the city of Los Angeles. It has never happened. It's a Pakistani origin who's qualified. Would It would not have been possible if the community would not have supported the mayor. Similarly, we are supporting Hillary Clinton in a very big way. We have raised more than seven, eight hundred thousand dollars already f under the umbrella of South Asians for her, which has come a long way. And uh, we we plan to raise more money from the South Asian American community. And we would like a seat on the table when the time is right. That's what is the agenda. Item. So I have a question to Mr. Khan. I mean, uh, this question is that very simple. I've seen that uh, Bangladeshi community in general are, uh, you know, they're very concerned about the country. I really love that, the way they love the country. But I've also seen that uh, there's not much of involvement among the Bangladeshi community in United States politics. So through foresight, do you see that there will be change that more and more Bangladeshi people will be uh, willing to participate in the American politics? Yes, tell me that uh, voicing my voice with uh, Kevin called the chairman of the FOSAC that uh, we have started a few years ago. And uh, what you asked me has been probed that really uh, in, under one platform, 
we are so united that we can uh, bring our community to the mainstream politics which was necessary even much earlier. But again, uh, we are here last 15, 20 years and I believe our next generation to rise up, to rise up, this is the only platform that we can go. And I have found that uh, last uh, mayor's election, say for example, that most of the Bangladesh is united and we participated in single fundraising and under that platform now Mayor Villaraigosa, which is the second, third most important person in America, uh, Lieutenant Governor Jan Garamandi, the next governor of California, that identify us and uh, know us. And uh, likewise, John Chiang, the, uh, the, the state treasurer, and Judy Chu, the, uh, the uh, Board of Equalization Vice Chair, they recognize us and they pretty much respect us. And the reason is that the agenda that we had earlier as a Friends of South Asian American community, together with all these uh, subcontinental communities, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, uh, Nepal, uh, uh, India, and Bangladesh, that we were able to uh, put together our strength, uh, as uh, Mr. Kevin Cole mentioned, that uh, the vote bank, uh, the, the, the unity, the technology, the knowledge uh, that we are famous for, uh, the much of this civilization uh, that the India and the subcontinental uh, engineers, uh, the doctors, or the scientists, they have put, uh, that really enriches the, 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 in, uh, the economy of America. And also, uh, the same token, you can bring the culture together. And as Hillary Clinton mentioned in the last election, uh, fundraising, that uh, the idea of force of friends of South Asian American community really uh, give her a little shake in the sense that she can foresee that how the countries uh, on, on the other side of the, uh, the, the, the world can come together and uh, can gain a strength and work together and, uh, and that really helps in her even her fundraising that she mentioned at one point. Uh, if you look at the global uh, warming and everything else and if you are not united today, we cannot put our countries on the map and this is how we can put the countries on the map. I believe the India is a country that everyone knows, but again, uh, we are other countries together that we want to uh, be on the map. And to be on the map, this is the only way that we can go together and work together. And I have been quite successful to answer your question that definitely we can uh, make a difference. Okay. So, Kevin, I have a simple question basically. I understand that it's because of the more political visibility. Uh, that's clear. But other than getting involved in United States politics, is there any agenda expanded to help our you know, back home in the country, like where, whether this uh, friendship is going to be anything beneficial to India or to Bangladesh or to Pakistan? Yeah, definitely. There's, when you bring uh, under the FOSAC family, five member, five million people, you bring them under one umbrella. What happened with recent floods in Bangladesh, when it, uh, the email was uh, blasted to most of the community members, a lot of Indo-Americans, a lot of Pakistani Americans, a lot of Sri Lankan Americans came forward to help Bangladesh, you know, for the storms and all that. Uh, it's still going on, contributions. So it is like any emergency happens in the South Asian American countries, each one pitches in, you know, that's the um, beauty of it. And what about the in general uh, foreign direct investment to the South Asian So that is a different organization, that is US Asia Business Forum, which is working and where Jalil is also involved and uh, he takes care of whole Bangladesh. So that we are promoting South Asian businesses to come to America. Next year we expect 2,000 different companies to come from South Asia completely and we expect 5,000 participants. And Next what year. do you see the future of the FOSAC? Uh, at least two to five years from now. FOSAC, FOSAC is going to be the largest South Asian organization in the United States. We are starting a television channel very soon. FOSAC live television channel is going to be started in the next six months. And once the television channel is going to outreach to more than 14 million viewers. With a lot of Asian countries like Iranians and Afghanis, they love uh, what happens in South Asia. That's so they are going to exchange our culture. 14 million viewership we expect. So that's the next agenda at our FOSAC Live. Then we're going to go into media. We're going to go into outreach. We're going to go to reach out to each member of the community. So that's what is the plan. Okay. I thank you all. I think our time is thank short.